Hi and welcome to the session. Today we will learn basic geometrical ideas. First of all, let us start with points. By a sharp tip of the pencil, mark a dot on the paper like this. This is known as a point. A point determines a location. They are denoted by a single capital letter like a, B, X, etc. So here let us denote this point by the capital letter A. Now this is read as point A. Next we have a line segment. Mark two points A and B on the sheet of a paper. Then the shortest distance between the points A and B is the line segment from A to B. So this is the line segment from A to B and it is denoted by line segment AB or line segment BA. Also the points A and B are known as the end points of line segment AB. Now let's move on to line. A line is obtained when a line segment AB is extended on both sides. indefinitely. Like this and this line is denoted by line AB or we can also denote it by a single small letter like L, L, etc. Say this is line L. Now let us see what are intersecting lines. Here we have two lines L and M and they meet at a point P. Such lines are called intersecting lines. So that means if two lines have one common point they are called intersecting lines next we have parallel lines two lines in a plane are said to be parallel if they do not meet. For example, line L is parallel to line M and we write it as line L is parallel to line M. Now let's see what is a ray. A ray 
is a portion of a line it starts at one point called starting point and goes endlessly in a direction for example this is a ray this is starts at the point a this is called the starting point and goes endlessly in this direction suppose we mark a point b over here then this ray is denoted by ray a b now let's move on to curves any drawing straight or non straight done without lifting the pencil may be called a curve so in this sense a line is also a curve here these both are the examples of curves now a curve that does not cross itself is called a simple curve here first two curves are simple curves as they do not cross itself and this curve cross itself at this point so this is not simple now a curve is said to be closed if its ends are joined otherwise it is said to be open here this is a open curve and this is a closed curve in a closed curve there are three parts first is interior or inside of the curve so here in this closed curve this shaded region is the interior of this curve so we can say here this point a is in the interior of the curve second part is boundary of the curve or on the curve here this is the boundary of the curve so the point b is on the boundary of this curve and the third part is exterior or outside of the curve so here this all part is the exterior part of this curve so we can say 
that the point C is in the exterior of the curve. Now, the interior of a curve together with its boundary is called its region. With this, we finish this session. Hope you must have understood all the concepts. Goodbye, take care and have a nice day.